Good morning, North Douglas Church. I'm Raquel, and today I'm going to be doing our Advent candles. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. Um, so a few weeks ago, we did the first candle, which was hope, and then last week we did love, and today we will be doing joy. Our Bible verse this morning comes from 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 16 to 18, and it says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Jesus Christ for you. Thank you so much, Raquel. And good morning, North Douglas family. Uh, I, I'm so happy to be able to uh, speak with you. I truly wish that we had the opportunity to be here in person so I could see your uh, beautiful faces and you could well, have to deal with mine. But instead, you guys just have to get to deal uh, with, with mine. Um, uh, once again, if you, I'm not sure which uh, media, social media program uh, you're watching this on, but I want to remind you that uh, if you're watching on Facebook, then you can also uh, share it and watch it on YouTube. Uh, there's also a, a multitude of videos on there. My wife has done an absolutely amazing job of great, giving some great content for our younger ones. I'm just the younger ones. There's a lot of older people who actually enjoy watching her. She is absolutely fun and crazy. And we, uh, I personally, and I know many others, uh, really appreciate all the work that she's continued to put in. So, so uh, go on there and check it out. Everything's on Facebook and YouTube. There's also a lot of videos on Instagram. Um, and I'm hoping you're following along uh, with our Advent uh, that Michelle and the teens have put together. It's a fantastic program. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to pick up the package, I know we still have some here. I know we're a long ways into it. But uh, yeah, we, we still have lots to go. There, there's still many days, so if you don't have an Advent calendar package, please feel free to stop by the church uh, during the week, and there's always somebody here from 9 to 3, and pick up an Advent calendar. It's never too late, and for the kids, there's chocolate in it, so there's never too late to pick up chocolate, because we all love chocolate, all right? Uh, so this week, is the uh, Advent uh, Sunday of joy, you know? But uh, I do want to speak about joy. But uh, going along with the uh, series that Rod has been, has been delving into, it's the UR series. It's the characteristics of God that is in you. And I want to reiterate to you right now still that uh, you are the light of the world. Now, the light of the world is also the joy of the world, which is why it works out perfect for this Sunday, because uh, light equals joy. Now, uh, as I was researching some of this, uh, is uh, the idea of sad. You know, I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of it, but it's an actual disorder, and it's something that here on the West Coast, uh, many, many, many people are, are having to deal with. Uh, it is seasonal affective disorder, not effective, affective disorder. Uh, affective is a psychological term having to do with mood and uh, just how you feel. Order is something that uh, happens to a lot of people all around the world, right? But especially places like the West Coast where we don't get maybe a lot of snow, but we definitely get some long, dreary, not just days, but weeks. Uh, if you lived here for uh, longer than a couple months, then you will have experienced already uh, one of those weeks where it just seems like the sun did not come out even a single time. And uh, it, just, it, it just drains you. It sucks everything out of you. And when you look at it and you go, okay, man, we're just at the beginning of winter here. And you just like, please, God, I need your help to make it through until, you know, April, May, when the sun starts to come out and you feel those warm rays on you again, that it just sucks you dry. Well, that is sad. And it's actual a clinical condition. Now, what SAD's actually made up of is the, the, one of the major effects of SAD, I should say, is the sun actually does something to your body, right? Uh, now, the sun doesn't actually have any vitamin D in it, but 
it, it, it does affect your, your body in a way that when the sun's rays hit your body, uh, your skin, this massive organ, is actually made to work with the sun. And when, and when the sun's rays hit it, it activates that organ in you, right? The, your skin. And it tells your skin uh, to start making vitamin D. And vitamin D is one of those things where uh, a lot of people, it's just funny, I've been, I've been taking vitamin D for years and my wife is just finding out about it. I've told her so many times. I know she's gonna watch this, she's gonna be mad, I'm telling on her, but it's true. She's my wife, right? I've told her so many times, babe, you got to take vitamin D. Vitamin D is absolutely going to gonna make you, you feel better. And she's just like, yeah, yeah, okay, thank you so much. And then uh, we were driving one day and she heard a radio program. And this radio program had this guy on there talking about all the effects of vitamin D. And she's like, Jason, we got to start taking vitamin D. I just stopped and looked at him like, are you serious right now? Like I've been telling you for I don't know how long that you need to take vitamin D because especially on the West Coast during this time of year, we we just don't get enough sun and our body's not making vitamin D enough because, well, it's not being activated. All right, and now you're telling me about the benefits of vitamin D and I've been telling you for I don't know how long, but I guess, I mean, I didn't really know. I'd wait for someone else to, to tell her, but joy's marriage. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, one of the ma major causes of sad seasonal affective disorder is a lack of vitamin D in your body because, you're, because your skin is not activated and it's not telling you, it's not telling you the, your, your body to create this. And vitamin D helps to regulate mood. Uh, it makes you feel better. It makes you feel more energized. Uh, it actually helps your body to heal. So it does all these things, and when your body isn't able to do that, then you no longer get the, the benefits of that. Now, I was looking at this going, what does the Bible say about light? Well, in 1 John 1, 5 to 7, it says, This is the message we have heard from him, and declare it to you, God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him and yet walk in darkness, we lie and we do not live out the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. So what is light? Yeah, we get the sun in this world, you know, physically. But spiritually, where are we getting our light from? There is only one source of light. There's only one true source of light, a light that can affect you in ways like the sun can. Like for us on Earth, artificially, yes, there's other artificial lights here on Earth, but they don't have the exact same effects as the natural light that is given by the sun. And in our spiritual walk, there is only one natural source of light. There's only one way that you can receive that light, and that is through Jesus Christ, because he is the light. Now it also says in John 8, 12, again, Jesus said to them, uh, spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Now, in both of these scriptures, uh, the, the Greek word that is actually being used is phos. Now, uh, phos is actually, I mean, like photosynthesis is the root word for photosynthesis. It's actually also the, the root word for uh, phosphorus. And actually what phosphorus, the actual like, Greek word uh, that phosphorus is made up of is light bringer. So in a way, like Christ is phosphorus. He's, he's the light bringer. He's, he's the bringer of all light. Now, if the sun was out there, I mean, the, the, the sun's doing his job, right? But if we as, as humans didn't have um, the organs to appreciate light, to deal with that light, um, honestly, the light would be, would be useless. But that light was created for a purpose. 
And it, there's certain things that it, that it does. Now, in our own bodies, our bodies were made to work with that light. It's how we're created. It's why we can see light through our eyes. We take in that light through our eyes. If, if we didn't have eyes, the organs to deal with that, then that light would be useless. All right? It's the same thing with our skin, another organ. If our, if, if our bodies weren't made to use it, adapt it, 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 it has no meaning for it. But our bodies are made for it. Our bodies are made to adapt it in, into that. It's the same thing that happens in our, in our spiritual lives. Uh, in uh, uh, Matthew 6, 22, the eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. So if you have the organ to take in that, then that organ is being used properly. Now, we as Christians, uh, we, we have the ability to take in that light because God has given us that ability. Now, when you're not of Christ, your body is not working in the, in the same way. Your spiritual man is not working in the same way. It can't adapt. It can't take that in. So when we turn and we follow Christ, we, our eyes are open for the first time. Our, our spiritual skin is all of a sudden going, oh, this is what I, what, what I need. And this is what the world needs right now. There's so many people uh, with, with all these lockdowns. It's, 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 I mean, it, it's, it's sad and it's scary to think about, but the number of suicides and the depression rate is absolutely through the roof. And the world is saying, we don't, we don't know how to fix this. We don't know what's going on. Well, I'm telling you right now that there is something that you can do and I truly believe that the major problem in this word, it, world is Jad. You're like, well, wait a second. What, did you say sad or you say Jad? No, I said Jad. The problem with this world is Jad. Jesus' affective disorder is that the world doesn't have Jesus. And that if we... Is that if when we take Jesus in, just as when our bodies take in natural sunlight... It, it combats, it naturally gets rid of all these toxins, everything through what's created through the sun. Our spiritual man, when it takes in Jesus, when it takes in the light of Jesus, just like it says in Matthew, that our, our eyes are the lamp to, 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 the, to, our, to our bodies, that when we take that in, Jesus is now able to do what he was meant to do. When our spiritual man is feeding on what it's naturally meant to feed on, the, the depression and the sadness in this world, yes, there's physical attributes to it, but guess what? There's a cure to it. There's a cure to our physical bodies and our spiritual bodies all in one. That when this world is suffering with Jad, when it's suffering with Jesus' affective disorder, that all it needs is the light of Jesus. And that when they receive the light of Jesus in them, their bodies are refreshed. Our bodies are refreshed and we can actually feel true joy. There's so many people in this world who are looking for joy, who are looking for uh, joy through money, through sex, through jobs, through achievements. And they're never finding fullness. They're never finding something to satisfy them fully because their body isn't taking in what it was created to take in. They're filling with artificial things. When they, in this world on the West Coast with tanning beds and all this whatnot, people are always trying to find artificial ways to create vitamin D in them. Sometimes to go to a tanning bed, uh, for, like for me, I'll take an actual supplement, right? But there's certain things that I'm not going to get in that supplement because my body is not getting exactly what it's created for, which is the sun, which is the rays of light that hit it and activate it in its proper way. And we uh, in this world is trying to fill itself constantly with other things when the only thing is the light, the true light of Christ is gonna come down and, and impact their lives. And if the world can actually see this and actually feel Jesus and actually feel the light that their body, their spiritual man was created for, they would know true joy. So on this Sunday of, of Advent, that's all about joy. 
what are we supposed to do? Well, first, I want to give you a couple of symptoms, because maybe even as Christians, and I know this definitely happens, and it's easy to say, you know, all those people out there who do don't know Jesus, this is suffering from. But guess what? There's a lot of people in this church. There's a lot of people uh, in the body of Christ that are not happy, that do not have joy. So I'm not just speaking about the people who, who, have, never met, who have never met Jesus. I'm talking about people who have met Jesus, who have felt that on them, but maybe they've been indoors. Maybe they, they haven't got to meet with Jesus in, a, in quite some time. So I want you to take a look at your life and maybe you have some of these, these symptoms. These are actually symptoms of sad, but they're also symptoms of, of jad. Uh, so sadness. Sadness is one of the main symptoms that, you know what, if you're chronically sad, there's a lot of other things that definitely could be, be wrong. But one of them, I mean, if you get it mostly in the winter, they're going to say, okay, well, you're just kind of suffering from sad, seasonal uh, affective, right? But I would say you may be affected, be affected by that, but there's even better chance that you're being affected by Jad, that you need a dose of Jesus. It says that in Psalms 28, verse 7, the Lord is my strength and shield. I trust in him with all my heart. He helps me my, uh, and my heart is filled with joy. I burst out in songs of thanksgiving. That when you're in the ray of light of Jesus, when you have God pouring out himself in you, that you feel fulfilled that uh, you are filled with joy and you burst out in songs of thanksgiving. If we as the church, if this is not us, then are we with Jesus? Do we know Jesus? Do we, are, are we being fulfilled by Jesus? If we are not full of joy, if we are not full of light, like the Bible says, then how can we not be bursting with joy? These are one of the symptoms of Jad, and this is what can be, can be healed. Heal it. The sadness can be taken away by a relationship with Jesus. Maybe you have anxiety. Another uh, symptom of uh, sad and also Jad is anxiety. Maybe you're anxious about things. You're just not sure what's going on in life. And in this season, there is a lot of people in this world who are, have some very high anxiety. They have no idea what's going to happen. There's, uh, with this uh, continued lockdown, people losing their jobs, right? Uh, parents going crazy with their kids at home. Uh, there's so many things that can create massive anxiety in you. And one of the things that exacerbates it, that makes it worse, is sad when you're, when you're not in the sun and you're not out there. Well, guess what? It, it, be, having Jad makes it twice as bad when you don't have Jesus. But guess what? We have the ability at any moment in time to step into the light of Jesus. It says uh, in Proverbs 3, 5, 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. If you're feeling anxious about something in your life and you just can't find a way to make that go away, guess what? You're suffering from Jad. And the cure is to step into the light of Jesus. I know I'm redundant on this because guess what? It's a pretty simple cure. Step into the light of Jesus. Now, the last one I want to talk about, there's many different symptoms of Jad, but uh, is irritability. And man, there's some people out there. Uh, I was watching some Karen videos the other day, and there are some people who have some serious irritability issues, right? And being cooped up when, I feel sorry for, the, for parents, uh, when they're cooped up with their kids all day, and they're just going to lose it. When they're driving kids around, and you have these kids in the back just yelling and screaming and doing their things, and they just get irritable and they get drained. Or maybe you have a boss who's just all over you, and you're irritated. And during this time, it just feels like it's that much worse. Things just... I mean, are setting you off every single minute of the day. 
Well, you could be suffering from SAD. It could have a, 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 be the fact that there's just not enough sunlight out there and you're just not getting the conditions. But I would say that more so you're suffering from JAD. Now, if you're suffering from JAD, guess what? I can tell you how to make that better. You, you guessed it. Meet with Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is the cure for JAD. Now, in uh, John 14, 27, it says, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Not as the world uh, give you do I give you. Uh, let not your hearts be troubled. Neither let them be afraid. God wants to give you peace. When you feel irritated and angry, God is saying, if you come to me, if you sit in the light of my son, if you sit and you take in the rays of Jesus, I can calm that. I can give you peace. Now, this world needs Jesus because it's suffering from Jad. But how are they going to get it? Well, guess what? When the Bible says that the light of Christ is in you and shines through you, the way that this world is going to get uh, their dose of vitamin D, spiritual vitamin D from the light of Christ is not just from the word of God. Yes, there is those people who are going to turn and open up the word of God and find God there. But God wants to shine his light through you, through Christians, through people who know him. When you take the light of Christ in you, it doesn't just stay in you, it shines out of you and fills you so that it's filled with overflowing and bursts out and people see it and go, there's something different about you. What is, what is different about you? And you can say, guess what? This is the light of Christ shining through me and that light of Christ will affect them because their body their spiritual man is crying out for something. And the light of God shining through you is going to affect their spiritual man. So we as Christians, we as followers of Christ, if we're not showing the uh, ante of this, right? If we're not showing the world uh, love and joy and peace, especially on this Advent Sunday of joy, the world should be getting its joy from Christ and Christ alone. And they're going to get that joy from Christ when it flows out of us. So if we have, as Christians are the ones that are on Facebook and we're the ones that are uh, cantankerous and upset and what's going on in this world and mad and angry, how's the world going to receive the light of Christ through that? If we're the ones that, when we're talking to our friends, we're upset and we're angry, or, you know, I mean, I understand we get sad, but if we're sad all the time, and our friends go, why would I want you, 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 you say you know Jesus, but you're always sad. I'm not saying that we as Christians can't get sad. I get sad. But I know I get sad when I'm dealing with Jad, oh wow, look at that. Because I've stepped away from Jesus. I'm not getting my full dose of the light of Christ in my life and my spiritual man is drained. But when I step up and I read my word and he fills me and I take that time and I spend that time with him in prayer and thanksgiving, all of a sudden he fills me with the light and I can't help but put away my sadness because my body was crying out for what it needs, for what it knows that it needs. And that is Jesus. So during this uh, third Sunday of Advent, of joy, I want to reiterate that you are the light that this world needs to find true joy because Christ's light shining through you is what's going to bring this world joy. So as we celebrate the time that of, of Jesus coming and his birth and his bringing true life and joy to this world through his son, which was a light to this world, I want to remind you that you are the light of the world and that this world will only be healed of Jad when it sees Christ shining through you. So take this season 
And even if you feel upset and angry, shine Christ's love to bring joy to this world because the world needs you. And the world needs Christ. I pray that God has uh, set up a fantastic time for you and that he's working in your life if there's anything that you need, if there's something you want to talk about, you something we want to pray about, maybe you're, maybe you're dealing with a sadness that just won't go away and you need help. We are here to help you. I want to help you. I want to speak into your life through Christ and say, what can I do to stand beside you and help lift you up? Because I know that if I can bring you to Christ and bring you to Jesus, he is the cure for all sadness, for all anxiety, for all irritability. If you want true joy, I got something you gotta meet. I've got a true light that'll change your life. I pray that God continues to bless you and keep you and guide you in all that you do. And we truly look forward to a time when we're able to meet together again. I pray that God blesses you. Have a great day.